You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. No, I just know it's that Coach Calipari guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, what I said earlier, you know, every great team has to have sacrifices. And I don't think, you know, this might have happened once or twice, but a team that talented, you know, that many guys, that many NBA guys and in one practice gym to even make it work as well as Coach Cal did with the whole platooning system was incredible. So we all had to buy in. We all had to sacrifice and just understand our role. I mean, Carl Towns didn't leave the paint. He never left the paint. Coach Cal, I remember vividly practices where <laughs> Carl would shoot a three and Coach Cal would lose his mind. And now he's a 40% seven foot shooter. So just understanding that, you know, understanding and adjusting and you know, what can I do to, to help this team win? And, you know, that was my role there. You know, I think I only ran like four pick and rolls my whole my whole college career. But, you know, it got us in the position to, to get where we needed her to go. I, I mean, Anna, it's hard to believe it. I mean, you think about that as he's reacting to being, you know, not scoring a lot yeah. of points at Kentucky, not playing a lot of minutes. Yeah. But it was six years ago, and they're such different players oh. now, even as he talked about Towns. Completely. And he may have sacrificed, but he also learned a lot, <laughs> at least according to his dad, Melvin Booker, who joined our friend Tom Leach this morning on the Leach Report on WLAP. Listen to this. Just playing at Kentucky helped him, helped him a lot, like, to deal with. I mean, you know, playing at Kentucky, there's a lot of pressure there. So he had to deal with that alone. And then that team and the talent that they had on that team, that competing every day against other NBA players and playing under the pressure of going undefeated, playing under pressure to try to bring the championship to uh, Kentucky. We fell a couple games short, but, hey, I still feel that pain. But uh, Devin learned a lot playing at Kentucky. And playing with other NBA players, Keith, that's a bit of an understatement <laughs> with that Kentucky team. Kentucky really is the next closest thing to the NBA. As we know, Booker didn't start here, but now he's in the finals, leading his team in scoring in his very first postseason, and he's not even 25. And off the court, seems like Booker learned a lot from his time here, too. The league has named him the season-long NBA Cares Community Assist Award winner, recognizing Booker for all of his charity work in Phoenix. We know that Calipari always stresses community involvement when these guys are in Lexington, so it's cool to see that continue into the rest of Booker's career as well. And remember, Booker and the Suns trying to take a 2-0 series lead tonight at 9 o'clock on ABC. Teams that win the first two games of a seven-game series in the playoffs are 302 to 24 <laughs> all time in those series. So the Suns can really put the pressure on the Bucks tonight. Yeah, good to see. Coming up, we'll turn our attention to volleyball. You're watching BBN tonight. <laughs>